Mark found something interesting. He says, um, what, after I upgraded to iOS 17.5, uh, some of my contacts had their labels changed to one of the, a various list of things, which he sent us. He says one had shared photo attached to the end of uh, a thing. He says, I, I needed to fix all these labels in my contacts. He says, so I contacted Apple using the support app on the iPhone, which is another quick tip in and of itself, because it's a great way to contact Apple support. Uh, he says, after turning off and on my contacts per Apple support, because they're stored in the cloud uh, and then restarting my phone, which didn't work. He passed me off to second level support uh, after a screen share on my iPhone and Mac mini second level support had me back up my contacts on my Mac mini by opening contacts, clicking on any contact and then pressing command a to select them all. And then clicking on file export export card and save. So that's a good way to back up your contacts. Uh, he says, then he had me go to iCloud.com click on my account which is my head in the upper right, he says, click on iCloud settings, data recovery, restore contacts. Evidently, iCloud.com keeps a list of your last 10 backups right there. That, and he says, I clicked on the one from May 19th, which was the day before the iOS 17.5 release. And voila, my contacts came back, no problem. So that's an interesting thing to remember if you did not. He, they had him save that backup of his contacts on his Mac, presumably in case, you know, yeah. everything, yeah. everything went sideways. But uh, the real magic was in restoring the iCloud automated backup of his contacts right there. And it just magically did it. So I, I, that's a great, if you ever have a problem like that, man, like that's the quick tip right there. So thank you, Mark. Thank you for sharing that. 